Hey guys, Joe McMenamin here. So I'm in the studio today working on a mural for Ruahini School and I thought it'd be cool to show you a bit of a demo about how I'm painting the landscape. So in this mural we've got the the hills, the Ruahini ranges in the background of the mural and so um, we're trying to create a sense of depth, you know, we were trying to make it look like the painting goes kind of further back into the distance. And so one of the techniques we can use to do this is um, by having brighter, more intense colors in the foreground and duller or grayer colors in the background. So I'll show you what I've got so far. So I've got the hills up here. Uh, I'll just swing you guys around. So we've got kind of the, the hills which are actually closer um, and down the bottom is the, the foreground, which you can't really see in shot, but as we swing around, we get kind of further and further away from the landscape, uh, sorry, from the foreground. And so we've got these, these hills are here are in the foreground, so we want them to kind of be brighter. You know when you look in the distance and you see something and it's like quite faded and grey? That's the effect that we're trying to get here by just mixing some grey into the green. Um, and then the other thing, so there's two more things that's going on. Um, another thing is that each of the hills has got some tone on it to, to make it look more 3D. So you can see that the light is kind of coming from this side. So it's going to hit the hill and that's a little bit lighter and that's a little bit darker. So I'm just working on that at the moment, just trying to um, work a little bit more dark kind of into into the, each side of these hills. We still want it to be quite faded, quite um, quite grey tone, like not the bright greens that we've got over here. Um, yeah, so then that gives a sense of um, tone and, and form of these hills here. There's often like little bits that kind of come down as well, sort of ridges. Um, so you can sort of have quite an abstract little, you know, bit of tone coming down. Definitely doesn't want to be too perfect and smooth. And then the other thing is that, um, I don't know if you can see the design from there, but we've got this fan tail in here, and it's got um, quite a light tail. Um, so quite a you know light gray and some white parts. So we want to actually darken up some of the background around here, just to give it some contrast. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to work in here, and I'm going to add in a little bit of this really dark um, kind of grey blue that I've, that I've been working with and what that'll do is it'll just start to give it a bit more contrast almost like a shadow sitting in behind the, the fan tunnel So now you can see the hills on the right are kind of more intense colors, more pure colors, and they're, they're also higher contrast. So there's lighter lights and um, darker darks. And then as we 
pan around to the rest of it, you can see it fades out into a kind of gray, um, gray tone. And now I'm looking for kind of places where I can just enhance that a little bit. And so I'm just looking at this area here. And it kind of looks a little bit like, um, you see like there's a ridge kind of coming down here and then there's another one sort of coming down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to darken it up a little bit on the dark side of the ridge. So I've got some of this um, sort of darker green. I'm just going to do it quite softly. Yeah, cool. So that, see how that kind of creates that sense of a slightly darker side there. And then if I do a little bit more light on this opposite side, it doesn't have to be much, but just a little bit more highlight. So I've just got um, a little bit of a brighter, slightly brighter green. And I'm just going to work it into this side here. do too much but just a little bit Now I've got to be careful here because I'm going to add a little bit more green on here too but I don't want it to be too intense because remember this is kind of fading away into the distance. Just a, re a really subtle... Yeah, I don't really want to add the same green. I want to add a kind of a more faded green out there as well. And then I can do the same thing with um, some dark tones. Just adding a little bit more. There'll be a little bit of a shadow here, like behind the hill as well. See as it comes down, there's like kind of a rich, but there's a little bit actually on. And what you can do is, um, like this sort of thing here, you can sort of bring it down. Yeah, nice. So, um, some of these sort of closer areas are going to have more contrast, so they're going to have some, like, you're going to be able to see more of the ridges and the, you know, the forest and the trees and things. This might, in reality, this might be like little clumps of trees or, 